Hello, Bots and Books fans, this is Scorp1701, and it's time to take a look at the weekly finds. Now, if you're new to this segment, this is a week-long toy hunt that I do, where I go around to all these various stores, and when I find something cool and interesting, I take a picture of it, and at the end of the week, I compile all the pictures together, and we can see what we got. All right, and I like to start off with those awesome, cute little pops. At Target, I found the new... Batman art series. Now these little pops are based on the Batman movies. First off we had the Riddler which was played by Jim Carrey in Batman Forever and he looked really cool nice and green. Got some question mark canes and question mark hats and question marks all over him. He's kind of dark here sorry about that. And I also found the Batman Returns Catwoman and this is based on the Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman but you can't really tell because she's all pink and she has little cat tracks on her, a whip and masks so that is pretty neat. I didn't see the Batman. I know he's out there. It's probably going to be the Batman from the original Batman Michael Keaton movie but uh, I'll keep looking and hopefully we'll find him and if you're interested in these check out Target. Also at Target I found a Darth Vader from the Star Wars comic inspired series. Now we had previously found C-3PO, a Stormtrooper and a Snow Trooper in this line but this is the first time we actually get a look at Darth Vader and he was pretty neat. So again Target exclusive. At Walmart I found the awesome little Funko Popsies. Now now these are really small versions of Funko Pops and they have a little mechanical feature to them where if you hit the little button their arms will pop up and a little message will pop out of their heads and they're going to be found down the greeting card aisle and uh, you have a wide arrangement of characters to choose from and the, these are really cool little things. Don't tell Queen Bravo but I already got her the Maleficent for Valentine's Day. I know you think I'm crazy for saying that on the video, but she doesn't watch my videos, and that's really sad and depressing. <laughs> All right, but anyway, if you're interested in any of these little guys, they go for seven bucks, and they're at Walmart down the greeting card aisle. For NECA at Walmart, I found the original superheroes Flash Gordon series. And you had Flash Gordon, The Phantom, and Ming from Flash Gordon. Now this is the third time we get Flash Gordon and Ming. We had two sets of them found at Target, and this is a Walmart, I think, exclusive. Flash Gordon and Ming are slightly different from the last two, and then you got the Phantom. He, I think we've only found Phantom once before. I'm not exactly sure about him but if you're looking for these different styled action figures they are at Walmart. For Masters of the Universe the origin series I finally found the flocked panthor on the shelf. It is crazy. I walked in wasn't expecting anything and there they were two awesome figures that I had been looking for for months and months and months last year and now here they are $40 they're still going for about 50 to 75 on eBay. Thought about picking them up, but nah, I don't like scalping. And I already did my review on this guy. You can check it out on the channel. It's awesome. Queen Bravo helps me out. It was just neat to see these guys in the actual wild. It's even more amazing is I went to a second Walmart that same day, and I found two more on the uh, shelf. So if you're still looking, keep checking. And my favorite part of toy hunts is finding awesome figures on clearance. At Target, we had the awesome Masters of the Universe Origins Skeletor on clearance for $6.29. That's right, $6.29. If I was really interested in this line and didn't already think I had the best Skeletor, I would have picked him up. So if you're looking, Targets have these on clearance. Go check it out if you still want this guy at a lower price. Walmart was not to be outdone for their clearance. And at Walmart, I found the Masters of the Universe Origins Battle armor, He-Man, and Skeletor that are still on clearance. I'm sorry, I don't know why I say it like that, but it gets so excited when I talk about clearance. <laughs> And uh, according to the t stickers, these were like originally twenty-one seventy-eight or eighteen ninety-eight. Now they're on sale for fourteen twenty-three. I'm not exactly sure about that price. Maybe they were around twenty bucks. I really can't remember. But here they are for fourteen dollars and twenty-three cents. If you want to check out your WalMarts, you might find them for cheap. From the Masterverse figures, I found the Revelation Fisto, and he is really nice. Very nice updated version of the Origins Fisto. It's cool. He got a sword, a couple alternate hands, 
And yeah, he really wants to fist somebody because he's ready to go. <laughs> I can't believe they had that line in a kid's show. It was crazy. But anyway, found him at Target. Also, along with Fisto, I found Stinkor, and he was really cool. I love that uh, expression on his face there, the eyes. And Stinkor was one of the few Masters of the Universe I actually had as a kid growing up. And again, this is a great update to him. He has alternate head, some hands, and a shield. So I'm happy to have him finally trickling out in my area. Also for Masterverse, I found the Deluxe Triclops. And this was a cool figure, I have to admit. You have a uh, kind of two versions of him you have him in his classic look and then you could change them some parts and you'll have that little cult leader look and i don't know not too keen about the cult leader thing that whole concept of revelation kind of open it up for like a second season if they're gonna do it i'm not sure they will i don't think the series was received very well but the toys are awesome. The last thing I want to talk about for Masterverse is this awesome deluxe package Savage He-Man with Orko. And now this is basically a Marvel Legends Kazar figure <laughs> with an axe, a sword, and a spear. <laughs> And Orko! And I think Orko is what's going to sell this set because really, Savage He-Man, I don't think anybody cared much about that. But you know, some people may have thought it was a cool concept, but to get a series accurate Orko, he would be what people buy the set for. And finally for He-Man Masters of the Universe, I found the awesome Netflix Battle Cat power attack figure. Now this kind of goes along with the motorcycles, but Battle Cat is his own and this is an awesome figure. Battle Cat was by far my favorite favorite character in this new Netflix series and it's a great series if you haven't watched it it's a reimagining of He-Man so things aren't going to be the exact same that you remember because it's done differently but it's done in a great way I really like this figure. Thought about picking them up, but I think they're going to do a better one. And when that comes out, I might collect some of this line. For G.I. Joe at Target, I found these cool little Super 7 retro reaction figures. And they look like they did back in the day with Lady J, Bazooka, Storm Shadow, Major Blood, the Game Master Drone, and a blue Snake Eyes. I guess they're going for the original look for Snake Eyes when he was a, kind of a blue, but I really don't think that's gonna go as well as if they had made him black and i'm not familiar with game master drone but i guess it was something from a series or they wouldn't create it and i thought these were really neat they're a little expensive for like what they are they wanted 18 dollars for these at target and at another target i found the duke and i thought the duke was really good again 18 bucks if you're looking for these little guys they're hitting shelves now for gi joe the classified series at target i found some alley vipers and some bats and they were really cool looking i really like the color scheme of the alley viper nice orange and neon blue and the bat eh, is a bat i am semi collecting this line but i haven't done any reviews on them but i'm only getting mostly joes unless they're what i consider a classic essential character now i'll probably get zaymont and tomax when they come out storm shadow is supposed to be coming out so i want to grab him up and spirit i think are the next four i'm planning to get from this line but the absolute coolest thing i think i found this week had to be this NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Raphael as Frankenstein's monster. And oh, this thing was beautiful. It was in the NECA section at Target. It's in a great big red box. You can see Raph looking very Frankenstein-y on the cover there. And this is a crossover between Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Universal Monsters, if you <laughs> couldn't figure that out. And when you open the box, he is standing there and he's all chained up and you have a great picture there on the left. You can see his two sides decked out in like lightning bolts. And he comes with some alternate hands and he's just beautiful, creepy figure. A lot of cool detail on this guy. The picture doesn't do it justice. If you take a look at this guy in the store, open up his flap and just stare at him, he has a lot of great detail on him. On the back of the figure, you had a lot of great product shots. It's alive! Raphael's Frankenstein, he's been shell-shocked. And uh, it was a very cool designed figure. If you're looking for this guy, Target is going to be the place where you'll find him in the NECA section. Jumping into DC for the 
Batman, the new movie coming up starring Robert Pattinson. I found this awesome little minifigure with the Batmobile. And the Batmobile, I'm not going to lie, was really cool here. And it comes with a little Batman figure. Now, don't be fooled. He does have a cape, but it's kind of in the back of the packaging, so you can't see it. And uh, anything with a car and the Batman together, I think that's going to be pretty neat. And it does light up and have sounds. So, yeah. Pretty cool. If you're looking for this, found it at Target. In the Target NECA section, the second wave of McFarlane's retro Batman classic TV series have been released. And that would include Batman in his swim shorts, the Joker in his swim shorts, and the Riddler. And I found all three of these, and I was very happy to come by them, because I'm going to be purchasing these three for a friend of mine who's just suffered a huge loss, and I think this is going to make him happy and get his mind off of his troubles for the time being, and he loves these figures, this show, and I'm very happy, again, that I was able to come across these, and I think he'll really enjoy it. But this wasn't the only three figures I found in this wave. At another Target, I was fortunate enough to find the Platinum Edition Unmasked Riddler figure. Now, I didn't know this thing existed. I figured it would eventually come, because all the others in the first wave came with alternate versions but it was later after they were released but this one was out immediately and like i said i didn't know it was a thing until i found it i'm like holy maskless riddler batman i had to jerk this thing up real quick and run to the checkout counter so wow very happy very fortunate and speaking of the riddler from the batman movie i found the dc multiverse riddler and he looked pretty neat uh, he's all green he kind of has like a scoped question mark there on his coat actually he kind of looks like a weird army reject guy that you know you'd find in the woods because he's got like green fatigues on and kind of dark pants and i don't know what he's coming with it looks like a military shovel i don't know what this deal is but if this is giving any clues to his character in the movie i'd imagine it would be that he's ex-military and he's mad at the government for something i don't know if you're interested in this guy he's Starting to hit shelves now. Next, I came across the Armored Batman. Now, I know we saw this guy a few weeks ago, but this was really cool. I thought I'd get another picture of him. But I wanted to show you this guy so I could compare him with the variant blue version. And the blue version, I think, is really, really cool. It's the same toy. It's just different colored. And I think there's going to be a third version of the Armored Batman figure come out. And it's going to be part of the Dark Knight Return series and it's going to have a piece of a horse with it. <laughs> so I don't know if it's going to be the same mold but when it comes out we'll take a look and we'll compare and if you're interested in this cool guy the only place I've found him so far is Target. And finishing up the DC multiverse that I found is the Batman. Now this is a classic Batman from the Three Jokers storyline and he's a good Batman I have to admit. You know I like the dark gray suit. I like the yellow utility belt and the black boots and gloves and cow and cape but the thing that bothered me about this figure is the ears he has little stubby ears and i like my batman to have tall ears now they don't have to be like two inches but you know i think maybe a good half inch or maybe an inch like the todd mcfarlane batman that we looked at a couple days ago but who knows maybe you could like buy this and switch out the heads if you were so inclined all right that is our dc multiverse figures for marvel legends i did find the retro Spider-Man carded Shocker. And he was pretty neat. You know, he's classic uh, cartoon design. And if you're interested in the Shocker figure, found him at Target. He comes with some effects that we've seen several times when it comes to, like, some of the X-Men waves. And he comes with alternate hands. So that is pretty neat if you're looking for him. Also from Marvel Legends, I found a figure from the Rintra wave. And that would be Wong from Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. And he's sporting a cool new outfit that we'll probably see when Multiverse of Madness drops and he has an arm an alternate hand for Rintra and he comes with some effects and he has some alternate hands and a sword so this was pretty neat not one of my favorite characters so not interested in this one particularly but I think this is the wave that has Sleepwalker in it and if I find Sleepwalker 
I'm definitely going to have to jerk him up because he was one of my favorite characters from back in the day. And I found some clearance figures. So the Marvel Legends Age of Apocalypse series is on clearance. I found some at Walmart for $10.08. You have the Cyclops, the Magneto, and the Legion. I wasn't interested in this line, but if you missed any of these and you want to get them for cheap, check out your Walmarts. They are going on clearance. But the best clearance Marvel Legends I found this week were actually at Target, where they had their Marvel Legends Age of Apocalypse figures on clearance for $6.89. And they had like four or five pegs full of these, mostly Rogue and Sabretooth, but still, $6.89, that was a steal if you were looking for any of these figures. So yeah, get out, check your targets, and see if they're on clearance in your aisle, because this is an awesome deal. For Transformers, the only new thing I found this week was this Jada Optimus Prime. Now, you may remember we did a review about a Jada Optimus Prime, but he was a smaller scale. He was about the equivalent size of a G1 Optimus Prime transformed into truck mode. Now, this one is huge. It's about the equivalent of a masterpiece Optimus Prime. It was very big. I found it down the Transformer aisle because somebody had put it there, but it was supposed to be down the car aisle. And just for a comparison, here he is on top of a Voyager Tigatron box. And you can see this thing is huge. And I was tempted to get it, but it was like $25 and I really don't have anywhere to put it. And the last interesting thing I found concerning Transformers this week was down the clearance aisle. And we had the Kingdom War for Cybertron Megatron leader class figure on clearance for $37.25. Usually this guy goes for 50 bucks, but at Walmart, $37.25, and that was a great deal. That was like $13 off, and they had a ton of him sitting in the shelf. Thought about it, but Beast Wars, again, not one of my favorite lines. Whoever's interested in this guy, $37 as opposed to $50 great deal walmart check out your clearance aisle <laughs> and that's it guys for the weekly finds i hope you found something i found interesting interesting as well and if you're looking for any of these toys happy hunting they're out there check your clearance aisles because you get some great deals down there sometimes but uh, anyway that's it that's the video hope you guys have a great night and until next time keep playing